Princess Sedinko Gaywood's roots and ties to the island run deep and strong. She was born on January 21st, 1958 on the island of Hawaii and raised on Guam. I went to George Washington High School, graduated the bicentennial class of 76. Typhoon Pamela hit us that year, so we didn't have much of a graduation, but we have a very good class, class of 76. She obtained her Bachelor of Arts degree in political science in 1980 at Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on Guam's professional technical scholarship. My cousin Carl Dominguez, uh, he encouraged me to go to uh, Marquette because he had attended there and he says a Catholic Jesuit University, so I, I applied there. Was accepted at some other schools, but decided I'll, I'll go try Marquette. Uh, boy, did I not know how cold it would be there, but I, went, I attended Marquette. Uh, and while at Marquette, I thought I was wanted to be a medical doctor, actually, before that, before going to college, and I uh, had indicated that to my parents, and um, then I took some science classes and decided that, uh, okay, chemistry and biology, I hate it. Organic chemistry, I really hate it. Uh, so, and I took the classes, and then I just decided I had to switch my major out of biology. She says it was a Jesuit priest that was her philosophy professor that encouraged her to try law. So she took introduction to pre-law. So that's how I started on the road to thinking about law school. Took, uh, changed my major from biology to political science, uh, majored in poli-sci, minored in um, philosophy, and then um, applied to law school. She would attend University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Law, where she obtained her Juris Doctorate Law Degree in 1983. And I um, applied to be a law clerk to the presiding judge of the Jackson County Circuit Court, and I clerked for him for a year, Forrest Hanna, who was a great mentor. From 1984 to 1988, Frances became the first Chamorro woman assistant attorney general here on island. During this time period, she earned a reputation for being a tough yet fair prosecutor. She was an assistant prosecutor with the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office from 1988 to 1990. During this time, Francis prosecuted major felony cases including homicides and drugs and served as a trial team leader for the Sex Crimes Unit. She supervised several attorneys and staff members while serving as a trial team leader. In 1990, she returned home to become Guam's first Chamorro woman chief prosecutor and served in that capacity until 1994. In 1994, Francis was appointed to a trial judge position in the Superior Court of Guam by then-Governor Joseph Atta, who recognized her fairness and tireless dedication in seeking justice as Guam's chief prosecuting attorney. The appointment of Francis Hedinko Gatewood is a source of much pride for our island community because as a daughter of Guam, she is the first Chamorro woman judge. Then I got onto the Supreme Court and uh, Governor Carl Gutierrez appointed me and, um, and so then uh, I was confirmed by the legislature and became a justice, associate justice for the Guam Supreme Court. So I was the second local uh, Chamorro justice. Manessa Lujan, a friend of mine who unfortunately passed away, was the first one. And then um, uh, first local uh, justice. And then I became the first woman, Chamorro woman federal judge. Actually Chamorro and Pompeian because my mom is from Micronesia as well. And, um, and so I became, uh, I, I was appointed by President George Bush in 2006. In regards to making great strides, she says that one thing about Guam is that there is a respect for women. Look at our Magahaga, our, our first woman governor. I mean, that's, the, you know, there's just such a great respect. I mean, just even the number of senators, you know, they call it the, what do they call it? The ladies' nature. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool, 10 women senators. Uh, and uh, we have a, a number of women judges and justices. She believes the environment is very conducive to having people recognize you if they think you're doing fine. When George Bush appointed me to be on this bench, it was Governor Felix Camacho, who actually went to Marquette with me, who recommended me to pre uh, President Bush. Governor Joseph Atta, uh, Governor Gutierrez, Governor Carlos, I mean, I mean Felix Camacho, Governor Felix Camacho, and even Congresswoman Madeline Berdalio, who um, recommended me with, with Obama as well, uh, when there was a transition, prior to the transition, uh, these three or these four or five individuals had faith in me. And, and I think that it's not just me, but they have faith in all the other, other women judges and jurors uh, who are in our community. And then, of course, the people of Guam had faith in Governor Lulian Guerrero when she became governor of Guam. Right. During her U.S. Senate hearing back in 2006, she referenced a motto that to this very day is important to her. It's from Socrates and it was a, a, a motto that I got when I was at the National Judicial College many, 25, 26 years ago. 
And I have a, a, a picture of, of a plaque with that in Lady Justice. And, it, and it's, uh, it goes like this, four things belong to a judge. To hear courteously, to answer wisely, to consider soberly, and to decide impartially.